Ladies and gentlemen, this is probably the wildest story on the internet and nobody really cares. I mean, why would I guess anybody cares when you got so much misinformation out there? I don't blame anybody. Drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new because just the other day we heard that Pentagon reports suggest an alien mothership could be sending UFOs to Earth. Oh shit! Oh, shit. And check this clip out. So Pentagon UFO chief says that alien mothership visiting us is possible. Roll it. Releasing a report on Tuesday. It's interesting. Jeremy, I, I want to talk to you for a second. The, the Pentagon's UFO chief, this is a Pentagon guy, a UFO chief, the chairman of Harvard's astronomy department as well, both releasing a report on Tuesday where they wrote an artificial interstellar object could potentially be a parent craft that releases many small probes during its close passage to Earth. You've got the Pentagon talking about the idea of a, a mothership going above us and sending probes down. It's interesting. And check this out right now. Apparently, LCS this also fighter jet shot down last month. Tonight, out of Harvard University, a draft paper about mysterious flying objects sounding almost like science fiction. I think it's very likely that we are not the most intelligent civilization that ever existed. Renowned Harvard astronomer. Ob I, I think it would be uh, dumb to think that we are the most. Uh, High IQ people around, right? Below, teaming up with the new head of the Pentagon's UFO office, dubbed the All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office. Together, they say that interstellar objects detected in space could be signs of extraterrestrial life, and that current sky mapping technology, like the James Webb Space Telescope, could miss such objects. It Damn. could have been a mother ship that released some probes in the habitable region around the sun. If we have a visitor to our backyard, we should observe it at first. Professor Loeb now leading the charge to build better arrays of sensors to capture anomalies, but saying for now everything is hypothetical, and his paper is really meant. It always is hypothetical, and yeah, I understand that the the subject is very controversial. It is very sensitive as well because uh, once they reveal, it's gonna like people are gonna panic. Let's keep a buck fifty. A lot of people are excited for it. A lot of people are also terrified uh, about the idea of seeing those uh, green little green aliens running in their background right you know you know what i'm saying to remind ufo hunters not to forget the laws of physics as much as the reports from military personnel are intriguing and motivate my work right now i want my instruments to tell me what is really happening meanwhile more videos surfacing showing odd objects have been leaked to documentary ufo filmmaker sure, jeremy corbell who recently released pictures of an orb shape over mosul and these images showing a cylinder flying over a rock the Pentagon oh, yeah. not commenting on the recent videos, but confirming prior videos released by Corbell had been filmed by service members. As for what they are, definitive explanation. What are your thoughts on this one? And ladies and gentlemen, click on this video on the screen if you want to see those hundreds of UFOs. There was one scene in this video there where there were hundreds of UFOs flying around. Click on this video on the screen and I'll see you right there. Check it out, guys.